fully understand how to save money on electricity, it's important to know how your power usage is measured and built. By the end of this video, you'll know what a kilowatt hour is, how it's measured, a few ways to lower your business's electricity costs, and how solar can help along the way. Welcome back everyone, I'm Casey and this is Going Solar with Pivot Energy, where we cover all things solar energy, commercial solar, solar finance incentives, and community solar. So what are kilowatt hours? How do they work? And how can learning about them help you save money? To understand kilowatt hours, I'll break down the kilowatt part first. In a nutshell, a kilowatt is just a measurement of electrical energy. It's equal to 1000 watts which is also an energy unit. So if you have a blender that uses 500 watts of power, that's equal to half of a kilowatt. If an appliance like an electric oven uses 2000 watts, that's the same as two kilowatts of power. So then a kilowatt hour is the length of time an appliance has to run to consume one kilowatt of energy. I'll give you an example of how that looks using the same items as before. The blender that uses 500 watts in an hour, aka half a kilowatt, would need to be used for two hours. For the two kilowatt electric oven, one kilowatt hour would equal 30 minutes of use. The measurement is used to calculate your monthly energy bill. So in a strange imaginary world where the only electricity you use every month is for the two hours of blending and 30 minutes of baking, you'd be billed for two kilowatt hours at the end of the month. All right, now that you know and understand kilowatt hours, I'm going to teach you ways to save money every month on your utility bill. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our future videos with helpful tips like this. Wrapping your head around kilowatt hours and how much energy you're actually using can help you lower your business's electric usage and costs by a lot. So these tips are going to be especially useful for all business owners, facilities managers, and those who are trying to minimize your operating expenses. Say you own an office building, which you might if you're watching this, the first way to start saving money is to find out how much electricity your building uses in different categories, like lighting, air conditioning, and electronics. You can take a look at your utility bills, ask your electricity provider to give you an audit of your energy usage. Then you'll be able to understand the areas in which you can cut costs. After reviewing everything, you'll realize you might be spending way too much money on heating or cooling. It's probably time to invest in better insulation, like windows, seals, and ventilations to lower your power bill. That way, your business won't have to rely so much on electricity just to keep the inside of your building temperate. If a lot of your bill goes toward lighting, you'll want to replace your bulbs with LEDs if you haven't done so already. They're extremely energy efficient and use significantly less energy than traditional light bulbs and fluorescent light tubes. If you consume a lot of phantom energy from having devices plugged in when they're not in use, you can invest in power strips they have a single button that shuts off all of the electronics plugged into them. Or you can try automatic light sensors, which turn off on their own when no motion is detected. That way, you can easily switch off everything that isn't in use when everyone goes home for the evening. And of course, there's no better way to reduce energy usage and costs than to produce your own energy. So without further ado, let's get to the cream of the crop, solar energy. You can save a significant amount of money on your utility bill when you install solar panels on your commercial building. But how? Number one, invest in solar panels for your facility. When you're a business or organization that owns a renewable energy supply, you rely on yourself for your own electricity. It's called on-site solar, and it gives you some really unique financial benefits, including tax benefits. We have a video that gives you the 101 on commercial solar. It's linked in the description below. All that kilowatt hour stuff I talked about a minute ago also translates to energy production. If we put 20 panels on your building's rooftop and each panel produced 300 watts of power, you'd own a six kilowatt solar energy system. The cool thing is though, is that panels usually produce 1.2 to 1.5 times more energy than the kilowatt label would suggest. So you could hypothetically get 7,500 kilowatt hours of energy per year from that rooftop system. That's enough to power 15,000 blenders. Now that's a lot of smoothies. Now, the second way you can save money, 
Number two, get utility credits through net metering. With an on-site solar system, it's common to produce more energy from the system than your building can consume. With a commercial energy system installed, it's actually possible to have a $0 monthly electricity bill. So if your system produces 7,500 kilowatt hours of power each year, but only uses 6,000 kilowatt hours, the production surplus means that your monthly bill could be $0. That's due to net metering, where the surplus of energy created by your system is sent back into the local electricity grid, and your utility company gives you a credit on your bill for every kilowatt hour that you contribute. That can come out to a lot of savings. We have a video explaining the ins and outs of net metering if you are interested in learning more. And like all the videos I mentioned today, it's linked in the description below. The third way to save money is through solar tax incentives. There are some great tax incentives for commercial solar from the state and federal level. Nationwide, you can take advantage of the Investment Tax Credit, or ITC where businesses can get a big tax deduction at the end of the fiscal year. For the year 2022, it's equal to 26% of the total cost of assistant installation, maintenance, and other related expenses. Now that's a big chunk of money. There are also varying state tax incentives too. Some states offer tax cuts or exemptions from property or sales tax when businesses install solar panels. But the benefits and restrictions can get complicated. So if you're interested and have questions about your state, I'll help you understand the tax benefits that you can take advantage of. Just send me an email. My address is listed in the description. If you want to save on your kilowatt hours right out of the gate, try a PPA or solar power purchase agreement. Under a PPA, you enter into a long-term contract with a solar developer in exchange for a predetermined per kilowatt hour rate for the electricity produced from the on-site array. The monthly cost will likely be lower than what you currently pay your utility company. Plus, it's a known rate that won't fluctuate. We also have videos on PPAs and virtual PPAs, so check them out. And of course, we have a video on even more financial advantages of commercial solar if you're interested in learning more. It's linked in the description and on our channel. So. We've covered a few ways to save money with commercial solar, but did you know you can also save money by subscribing to solar energy with community solar? With community solar, your business or organization can support solar without installing any solar panels. Every month, you pay a subscription fee for energy produced on a solar farm in your area. Your utility will then give you credits toward your electric bill every month. The vast majority of the time, your subscription fee will be less than the credit that you're receiving from the utility, thus saving you money. Leave a comment below telling me what you're more interested in, commercial solar or community solar. Also, make sure to check out our video on community solar benefits to find out more. And don't forget, all the videos I mentioned today are linked below in the description. So how can you get started on your own commercial or community solar pursuit? Here at Pivot Energy, we are a turnkey solar provider. So we build and manage commercial projects in addition to planning, financing, building, and managing community solar programs all over the US. We're dedicated to making solar energy solutions accessible and providing you with everything you need to make informed decisions, whether it's to subscribe to a community solar or get started with commercial solar. Please get in touch if you're interested in learning more about your options, if you have questions about our other services, or if you just wanna know more about kilowatt hours. As always, feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment section or reach out to me directly using my email listed in the description. Our YouTube channel is a great learning resource for all things solar energy. And my team of solar experts and I are happy to answer any of your questions. For more info, check out our website, pivotenergy.net. I really hope this video helped you learn more about kilowatt hours and that you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell below so you can be notified when we post our latest videos on clean energy solutions. Thanks for tuning in to Going Solar with Pivot Energy. See you next time.